Jesus, Jesus, Shout out to Sukada, Hasia, Dedi, Mukushin, Dedi, 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 Radi, Masukada,
You are all welcome tonight. Shade vla pasoka da da da. Yede bosi yande de boko shanda da 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 da. You are all welcome in the name of the Lord Jesus. Shade vla pasoka da 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 da. Le masoka da hasi yende boko shande de 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 de. Rada vla pasoka da hasi yende de boko shende de 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 de. Rada vla pasonda hasi yande de 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 de. The name Jesus is higher above any other name. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We worship you in spirit and in truth tonight in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus has been exalted above every other name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We exalt you this evening. We say that you are worthy of our worship and praise. Shada of Lapa Soka da 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 le masoka da 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 It is higher than any other name, the name of Jesus, 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 the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for the name Jesus. We thank you for the name Jesus tonight. May the name Jesus be assaulted. May it be exalted today in our midst. Oh, Jesus. Father, we thank you in all the end. The name of Jesus, higher than other names, King of all kings, no other name like him. The name of Jesus, higher than other names, Alpha Omega, no other name like him. I believe in the name of Jesus, and I know that you also believe in that name Jesus. That is why you are here tonight. Let us give him some praise. Your name like sweet perfume pour upon my soul. In your name you will overcome. In your name there is victory. His name is powerful. The name of Jesus higher than other names. King of all kings. No other name like his. The name of Jesus, higher than other names. Alpha Omega, no other name like his. The name of Jesus, higher than other names. King of all kings, no other name like his. The name of Jesus, higher than other names. Alpha Omega, no other name like his. Every other God and deader than death, Jesus died and rose again. Be lifted higher. In your name, in your name his name call on name Jesus call on that name 
Jesus, wherever you are, lift up your voice and call that name. Jesus means Savior. Oh, we are calling on the name Jesus. We are calling on your name Jesus. We are calling on your name Jesus. Marvelous Jesus. Wonderful Jesus. Miracle working God Jesus. I'm calling you Jesus. Jesus over my life. Jesus over my children. Jesus over my husband. Jesus over my home. Jesus over this broadcast in the name of Jesus. Jesus over you who is watching me. I'm calling the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. There is power in 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 the name of Jesus. That is why when you find yourself in a tight position, all that you can say is Jesus. Jesus, if you believe in that name, call on that name, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Ashare basoka da hasiende de 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 de. Shara bla basoka da 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 da. Le masoka da 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 da. There is miracles in that name. Healing in that name, Jesus, Lord. Your name is Jesus. You are the mighty healer, the mighty savior. We exalt you this evening, Lord. We are calling on your name, Jesus. Mighty, mighty warrior, Jesus, Jesus. Father, we thank you. Ashere boho sende hasi anda da 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 le basoka da ba da ba shende de 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 ra de bla basoka da hasi ende de boko shende de 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 ra da bla basonda hasi ende de 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 le basoka da ba hasi ende de de every situation we are calling the name Jesus over every situation ashada ba hasoke de hasi ande ra de bla basoka da 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 le basoke de ba hasam de 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 ra de bla basoka da ba da ba da ba le Sonda hasiende, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Shede ba hasoka na ba na ba. I have faith for you. Call on that name, Jesus. Call on that name, Jesus. Shede ba hasoka na 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 na. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Oh, shede ba hasoka na 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 na. Everything that you need is in that name, Jesus. Ashede ba hosiende hasiende na 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 na. Le masoka na ba hasonda hasiende. Oh, things are possible in that name. I welcome you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I greet you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. I thank you for being here with me tonight. I acknowledge you. My sister Jenny, you are always with me. God bless you. This is a this is our program this is our page this is what god has given us and i'm always happy to share this space with you i welcome you all um those that i can't even mention your names but i i acknowledge you here i can't see the faces but god bless you for being here with me and i thank you so much um tonight we're going to do some we're going to pray i'm not going to say we're going to do some pray we are going to pray because I was preparing about something that I was going to teach tonight and then we pray. But the Holy Spirit prompted me and gave me a verse that he wants us to pray with. And so tonight I will tell you something that if you don't believe in, in, in sanctioning, putting sanctions on your enemy and stopping their work and praying some dangerous prayers, then probably this wouldn't be... A night that you would want to but this is what the lord wants us to do because you see anytime god gives you a direction what he does is he is ready to act but the bible says you and me we have been given authority here so until we give god the 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 the, the um we give him that we give him our will and we give him the authority to do what he wants to do he is not going to do anything and so by faith we are adding our faith to his word and we are saying to him that whatever you want to do in this season do it because we are aligning our will under your word because his word is true his word is sure but jesus is the only way he is the only truth and he is the only life and the word 
Jesus is the body he him himself made flesh that is the Bible so anytime you pray the word of God what you are saying that you are instituting the will and the mind of God into your life and into this earth realm so that is what we are going to do and we're going to read Psalm 79 we're going to pray through Psalm 97 79 sorry so please if you have your Bible you can get grab your Bibles and underline certain things that will come out and as you go through this month this week consistently you pray these things over your life because that is the direction that God is giving us and as I read this thing and related to the season and the situation we are in now I, I found myself blessing the name of the Lord because I knew that this gives us um, an understanding of where we are going and what God is also doing in the spirit and it's always good to know what is going on in the spirit realm because the, the, the physical only manifests what is in the spirit. And so before we start everything, wherever you are, I want you to lift up your voice and begin to pray. Ask the Holy Spirit to take absolute control. Take absolute control. Let us bless. In fact, before everything, let us thank God. Pastor Harrison, I greet you in the name of Jesus. I want us to thank God for the program that we even did. I am not an ungrateful person and there is one thing that I have learned is to be grateful for everything that God does. And you and I will bear with me that the three days was an amazing time in the presence of God. All the, the everything that even happened, God used it to work together for our good and, and testimonies have started coming in. And it, it amazes me and it keeps me in a place of humility that God could even use somebody like me to be a blessing to many. So I want you to join me and give thanks to God for what he did through this program, through Real of Hope, touching the lives of people, snatching people's life from the pit of hell. Maybe you would not see, but I tell you that if any seed of you even being here was, you were being part of that um whatever god was doing so i want you to lift up your voice and begin to bless the name of the lord thank god if you don't have to, just thank god for me and thank god for real of hope that god whatever thing that you did i'm looking at the video I'm like now it's like i i am not so conscious of the numbers that watch but the numbers i just saw when people are still watching these things and i want you to know that it, it, it's a seed we are sowing in the kingdom of God. So please, let's join me and begin to bless the name of the Lord. Let us thank him for what he has done. Let us thank him for what he is going to do tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we bless you when we give you praise. We acknowledge you tonight, oh Father, we are here to say thank you. I remember the lepers that you cleansed them, oh Lord. It was only one who remembered to come back and to say thank you. And when you said, how the come I healed ten, but it is only you, the foreigner, that has come to say thank you. And he was the only one you made whole. And so, Father, we stand upon this truth and we have come back to say thank you. We have come back to say, hallowed be your holy name. If it hadn't been for you on our side, oh Lord, we don't know what would have happened, but through it all, you were faithful you held our hands through it all and so we want to say thank you heavenly father thank you we give you all the praise and adoration we magnify you we say we honor you we thank you we thank what can we say than thank you, Holy Father? We give you all the praise. We honor you, Lord. We thank you. Ah, uh, for the ministers that came to minister unto us. Thank you for their lives. Thank you for their families. Thank you for all that you have done and what you keep on doing. May we, we give you all the praise. We give you all the praise. We thank you for tonight that we are in your presence. Do what only you can do tonight. Speak to us. Do what you have purpose to do in our midst tonight in the name of Jesus. I bless you and I worship you. You are good and your mercy endures forever. I bless you, Lord. I thank you. I thank you in the name of Jesus. I cannot thank you enough. So blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. Let us ask the Holy Spirit 
to come and take absolute control. In Jesus' mighty name, we cannot do nothing. The Bible says until it is given to us from above. So let the Holy Spirit take absolute control. Ask him to take absolute control. Absolute. Nothing of me. You did not come here to hear me. You came to listen and to hear the mind of God for you. Because this is the moment with the word. So pray that Spirit of the living God has absolute control. Absolute control. In the mighty name of Jesus, we welcome you. Have your own way tonight in our midst in the name of Jesus. No more I and none of me but all of you in Jesus' name. Take what is the Father's. Take what is Jesus and let it be known to us, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Any hindrance, we come against it by the blood of Jesus. We thank you. We give you praise. We honor you. We bless you for your presence in our midst. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We bless you. We give you praise. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, have we prayed with thanksgiving. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. So, Heavenly Father, we give you praise and honor. We thank you. What a privilege, what an honor to come your will, to come to your presence once again, to hear what you have for us, oh Lord. We thank you for what you did for us the other day. We are grateful to you, O oh Lord. And as we are here, we pray that you take up solo control. Let your will be done as it is in heaven. Speak to us the way you want us to know. Reveal the hidden things to us, O oh Lord. Oh, let us be receptive of your word. Open up our heart. Anything that will be a hindrance into receiving your word, we come against it in Jesus' might and name. Anything that will exalt itself against the knowledge of God, I pull it down in Jesus' name. Have your own way, Spirit of the living God. In Jesus' name, amen and amen and amen and amen. Amen, amen. You see, tonight, sometimes some people, some people come in online and they look at the figures on the, oh, six people are watching and then probably they, they leave. But what they do not know is that those that are watching, they are more. And those numbers, they... Uh, people who are commenting so when you see people comment it is it, apart from probably they are whoever is watching but these are the few people who are commenting on the on the video so don't let that put you down because a lot of people trust me are listening to what the spirit of the lord is saying and so I welcome you for tonight to tonight's broadcast or for it, whatever it is, you are welcome. And I'm happy that you are here. If you can kindly share this broadcast with somebody, share it in your messenger to a friend, because I promise you that you're going to be a blessing. I'm going to read from Psalm 79. And when I finish reading it, it's the whole this so bear with me it might look like it's long but that is exactly what god wants you to hear because anytime god begins wants to do something the bible says he reveals it god will not do anything without revealing and prompting us to his mind he always speaks. He always orders your steps. He always talks to you. But sometimes we are in a place where we cannot even listen or discern what God is saying. So when you are so blessed to have somebody you can relate to. It's not everybody that you can even accept the word of God from. There are a lot of people that it's difficult for me to understand you what they are saying. But when you are, you are, you are in a place that you can accept from a particular vessel then you do so i am not offended if somebody cannot receive of me that is why we have a lot of different vessels so whichever one that you can relate to or you can accept their ministry that they are being a blessing to you you are always free to go there and take from them because the bible says that we should test all spirits it is in your bible we should try Whichever one that blesses you, whichever one that God will use to change your life, you stay there. And so this is what the word of the Lord wants us to know. It's 13 chapters, but please, I wish you have your Bible and then you read it with me. But listen to what God wants us to know. This is what the Bible says. 
Oh God, the nations have invaded your inheritance. My God. Oh God, the nations have invaded your inheritance. If today you are under the sound of my voice, you are an inheritance of God. And this is what David is saying to us. That God, your inheritance, I am your inheritance, I am your portion. The animal is not the portion of God. The cars and the buildings, they are not God's portion. You and I are the portion of God. The ones who have accepted Jesus as their Lord and Savior, they are the inheritors of God. So this is what David is making us aware. Asap, sorry. And he's saying that, oh God, the nations have invaded your inheritance. Can you relate to this? That all these things that are going on, whether it's an virus, whether it's an enemy, whatever form that it is, He's saying that they have invaded your inheritance. Anything that is not giving you sleep, it is invading in your, your, your the inheritance of God. And he's saying that they have defiled your holy temple. Hallelujah. If it is sickness, the Bible is telling you that that sickness is defiling the temple of God. Because the Bible says that we are the temple of the Holy Ghost, uh, of God. God lives in the inside of us. So sometimes there are situations... You have to know when you are praying and you are praying the word of the Lord. You need to have an understanding. Put yourself, I am the inheritance of God. I am the temple of God. When sickness come into my body, they are defiling the temple of God. They have no right. When you stand upon this word and you pray, you are decreeing what has already been written before the foundation of the earth. And you are telling the, whatever sickness it is, whatever poverty it is, whatever lack it is, that you are defiling the inheritance of God. And this is what he keeps on saying. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. There are situations when you find yourself in, it puts you in ruined position. Maybe to you it is okay. But God is pointing something to you that it is not acceptable in my sight because I have paid a price for it. I let my son come to die for you so you cannot live in ruins. I, 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 I beseech you not to allow any situation to put you in ruins. That is not the will of God. And this, it continues to say, they have given the dead bodies of your servants for food to the birds of the heavens. They have given the dead bodies of your servants as flesh to the birds of the heavens. You know, you, you, when this virus started, there are a lot of countries. They do not even have space to bury the dead people. They had to burn them. They had to like mass, mass, mass um, um, bodies. They just put them in a hole and cover them up. It's in the other old books in the Bible that these things will happen. I at the other time I was reading, reading it and I was I was baffled. I said, "Wow, everything that happens, God had already written it." And this is what He's telling you and me. You see, you think that this is thing, this is something that has already happened. It is in the Bible. They have given them to for bears to in, in the heaven to just eat it. But that is not right. Okay, you will say that I am not dead. How does that relate to me? You see, when shame, there are situations you find yourself in. It becomes like a cloth on you, like the shame and the despise of men. It's like your flesh has been given. It's, it's dead. It's been given to, to people to just feed on. That is like this exactly what the Bible is describing in here. And the Bible keeps on saying, The flesh of your godly ones to the beasts of the earth. Your flesh. Sometimes you see there are some sickness, it attacks your body. And the beasts, the animals, they, these viruses, they are beasts of the earth. And the Bible says they are eating your flesh up. It is not godly. It is not the plan of God for you. And then the Bible continues to say, they have poured out their blood like water around Jerusalem. There are some situations it's like it is sucking blood out of your life. Tonight, we are going to pray on each and every one of this. So just don't want to move out. Don't, don't desire to just move or go and if you want to invite somebody into this invite somebody because everybody needs a prayer 
and then he continues to say they have and there was no one to bury them there was no one to bury them we have become a reproach to our neighbor a scoffing and a duration to those around us there are some situations when you find yourself in people don't even want to come close to you whatever they hear or what they perceive what is in you sometimes there are certain things they've done in the spirit of you yourself you look at yourself you can't even see it but those around you they cannot even tolerate you they cannot stand you because there are certain things that has been done against you in the spirit realm demonic activities witchcraft activities that has been done if you don't believe it it is real anything that the bible says it is there it is there it's just that as christians we choose not to focus on these kind of things because we are the redeemed of the lord we know that we are protected by the lord we know that angels compart all around us and so we, we we don't focus our attention on these activities but they are there how long oh lord we are in the verse 5 we are reading from psalm 79 and we are in the verse 5 how long oh lord will you be angry forever will your jealousy burn like fire he is asking the lord all these things that your children are going through all this mistreatment of black people all this all this impartiality all these things that are happening to your inheritance how long oh lord would you hold your peace how long am I going to go through this thing? And I've been praying the Lord heal me. But it seems no deliverance is coming. How long am I going to suffer this? How long am I going to suffer this, this crisis? How long am I going to have these issues? And he's asking, will you be jealous with your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the nations which do not know you. Hallelujah. Now has come up and he's saying that hey lord i know that you will not hold your wrath against your people forever i know we sinned i know we did not dis we, we did not obey you i know we did not do what you wanted us to do but how long would you hold because you are a merciful god you know sometimes when things are not going the way they are supposed to, and you have asked god to forgive you because there are sins and there are some certain things that you you know that you have done something and you ask God to forgive you. But there are certain things too that you have no clue that you have done them and it doesn't please the Lord. So when you are praying for forgiveness of sin, you pray for disobedience, you pray for the sins that you know and the sins that you do not know. You are not even aware that you have done them. You ask the Lord to clean you up. And then you ask God to judge your enemies. Those people that do not know God. If somebody knows God, they will not hunt you down. If somebody knows God, they will not always seek that you, you seek your downfall. And so he's telling us that pour your wrath. Well, before your anger, pour it out upon the nations which do not know you. Anybody who is seeking your downfall, he doesn't know God. If you know God, you will seek the good for any other person. That's why he says, bless your enemies and do good to those that persecute you. And I'm speaking to myself too. And when you do that, you are in the position to decree and to declare that Lord, pour out your wrath on those that do not know you. Pour your wrath on anybody that seeks my downfall. Anybody who thinks that you, Lord, will not come unto my aid. You see, somebody was sharing, we are on a, a prayer platform. And the night, I think on the Friday, we had had an all night. And we were praying against our enemies. Yeah, after the program, <laughs> we had an all night. And we were praying. And the lady came and shared a testimony. He said, he, she was just praying. But apparently her auntie called and said that, uh, not called, somebody called from home to tell her that her auntie wanted to speak with her. Because she, 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 you know, when they say a, a witch is caught, he can't, he feel that there's something going on. She, she's sorry for all she did to her daughter. She wants to speak with her. So she want, she doesn't feel like talking to that person because if you are a witch and you did I did not you 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 have done that's a local language you have done my child and I've been praying and God has caught you what do you want to say to me and we were talking about these things my darling I want you to know that prayer works 
prayer it works add your faith to it when you see the word of the lord and you pray just add your faith to it sometimes it might look like it's taking too long but prayer does work why am i saying this we were just praying and when he asked the advice i told her you know sister did you do anything to that anti physically he said no so i said you don't take what is spiritual and make it physical when somebody offends you physically, sometimes you think that it's a physical battle, but it's a spiritual battle. And sometimes they just manifest certain things physically. But do not always take your battles into the speed in the, in the physical realm. Sometimes you need to war in the spirit. Leave that person physically alone and give it to God. Let God wrestle for you. You just read the word and just stand on it and pray. And then he continues to say, and upon the kingdoms which do not call upon your name. Where he's calling up nations, the wrath of God on the nations and kingdoms. Some people, they are, they are ter territorial demons. They have made themselves demons over your family, witchcraft activities over your family. And they are saying that you, you can never raise your head over a certain threshold. Or whenever you are coming up, they just pull you down. Not even, not only even in our families and in our homes and our neighborhood, even in the church, it happens. They, 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 they have a, a stethoscope and they're saying that nobody is going to rise above that. But my darling, let me tell you something. Even Jesus, when he came on earth, this is what he said. He said, if you believe these things that I am doing, you will do it and greater. And greater will you do. So if anybody tells you that this is how you're going to be, it is a lie from the pit of hell. There is more in God. And as long as you desire to press in and to know him for yourself, my darling, he would do exceedingly, abundantly, far above what you think and ask for. So he's an individual, but he's showing us how to pray. He's saying, pour your wrath on the nations and the kingdoms, kingdoms that has risen and, and fortify themselves against the purpose of God concerning you. Don't just fight individuals. Sometimes they are hierarchy. They are hierarchies. They are nations. They are kingdoms. The Bible says we wrestle not. And he told us principalities, powers, rulers of darkness. Today I'm teaching you something because we are in the month of prayer. And I know a lot of prayers are going on. But I'm just prompting you that there are some dimensions that sometimes you just don't have to just keep your focus on, um, on, on physical things and the witchcraft and the one who is, is, is your sister or your mother. No, no, no. Sometimes just leave those things and start battling in the spirit realm. In the in the in the atmospheric stuff, you know, the kingdoms and the nations and the principalities, neighborhood principalities and powers, the watches. And then he keeps on saying, For they have devoured Jacob and laid waste his inhabitations. You are there, but you are a waste, Jesus Christ. You are there, but nothing is moving. You are there, and your inheritance around you, it is a waste. And the Bible says, the verse 8, do not remember the iniquities of our forefathers against us. Let your compassion come quickly to meet us. And then as I say all this, he's saying that, Lord, I know that sometimes you visit the iniquities and the sins of our fathers on cho their children. Maybe what we are experiencing is not because of what we have done. So, Lord, because of your mercy, I am falling in your mercy and I'm asking that if there is anything that our forefathers has done, if there is anything that my mother has done, my daddy has done, my grandfather has done, forgive me. If there is anything that is anybody related to you that they have done that has been a generational curse, he's saying that, Lord, forgive me. And then he keeps on to saying, for we are brought very low, my God from Zion. Now where I am now, Lord, if you don't come to my aid, I am being brought so low. I am down. They have degraded my life so much so that I am walking, but I look like I'm a walking dead and I don't have any God. It seems that there is nobody here to help me. 
tonight if you find yourself in that situation do not turn that down do not go away we are going to pray because the lord gave us this verse to stand on and to pray and so it means that he is ready to set you free he is ready to do something in your life something you have been praying for and this is the key that he's giving you tonight and he keeps on saying help us oh god of our salvation for the glory of your name sometimes you ask god the God of your salvation, the God in whom you have, you have, you, the God you have accepted as your Lord and Savior, the Lord of your salvation. You are my God of your salvation for the, the glory of your name. There are so many times I have prayed this prayer. I have prayed and I have asked God, not because of me. But because of your name, because I bear your name and people see me and they say, this is a child of God. So Lord, because I bear your name and I am your inheritance, do not let this reproach come nigh me. Hallelujah. Because of the glory of your name, Lord, deliver me. And then he keeps on saying this. And deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. Because I bear your name as a Christian, as a child of God. Deliver me. Deliver me, Lord. Deliver my child. Deliver my mental state. Deliver, my sick Deliver me from every sickness and every disease. Because of your name. Because I bear your name as a child of the Most High. Do not let my enemies gloat over me. Do not let them say... Whatever the purpose for my life, it has come to pass because of your name's sake. Hallelujah. May this be your prayer tonight in Jesus' name. And then he says, why should the nation say, where is her God? Jenny, why should people say, where is your God? Why should people say, Pastor Harrison, that where is your God? Mami Fosuya, why should people ask? And even doubt and dare to even ask, where is your God? Let there be known among the nations in our sight vengeance for the Lord, for the blood of your servant, which has been shed. I'm, I will take that. He says, Let there be known among the nations. In our sight, Shari Basoka da 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 da, vengeance for the blood of your servant which has been shed. He's saying that, hey Lord, if you are going to avenge me, don't do it behind me. Not when I am dead. That you have sheboko setikedi ba. Not when I am dead. That you will avenge my blood. Whatever thing that they have done against me, don't wait for me to die. I want to see the vengeance now. I want to see a turn around now. Oh yes, I know you will bless my children and you bless my generation yet to come. But Lord, I want you to avenge me now. I want to see what you are doing to my enemies. It's in the Bible. And we are reading from Psalm 79. We are in the verse 11. And he says this. Let the groaning of the prisoner come before you. Shout out so Let the groaning. Sometimes you are in so much pain when you go to the Lord in prayer. You are lost for words. You don't even know what, how to express yourself. You don't even know what words to say. But he says, because you see, the Bible is saying that he is describing you when you are in that situation. And he's saying that let the groanings of the prisoner because that pain has prisoned you. It has pushed you in a, a discomfort. And he's saying that, let that groaning, when they go on their knees and they can't find words to express how they feel. Oh Lord, let the groaning. The Bible says that we have the Holy Spirit. He intercedes for us with groanings that cannot be expressed. He says that let that groanings, let it come before you. What are you groaning about tonight? What is it that when you remember 
the pain in your heart, the sharp arrow in your heart. You cannot even express it. You cannot put words. It has become you. It has put you in a prison. And that's why he's telling us that, hey, Lord, Father, I am beseeching you. Let the groaning of that prisoner, because he has told us that when you are praying, come to me with joy. But sometimes our situations are such that it is difficult for us to go to God with the heart of joy. But tonight, he's saying that, and then according to the greatness of your power, preserve those who are doomed to die according to the greatness of your power not because in you have an ability not because there is something that you have that can sustain your life but he's saying that because of the greatness of our god because he can use anything and anybody to draw your life from the pit of hell He's saying that according to the greatness of you, Lord, your power, according to your, your sovereignty, because you are Jehovah Sabaoth, the Lord of the heavens armies, all the spirits, you are in charge. According to your sovereignty, preserve those who are doomed to die. And I decree and I declare by this word prophetically to everyone at the sound of my voice and every life that is connected to you. Anybody that is doomed to die because of the greatness of our Lord, they will not die in Jesus' mighty name. Anybody that is going to die prematurely because of this word, we cancel every premature death. Anybody that is doomed to die, we cancel it in Jesus' mighty name. It is in the word of God and that is the will of the Father concerning us. Amen, Vida. Amen. Anybody who is doomed, he says, anybody who is doomed to die according to the greatness of you, O Lord, we snatch their life from the pit of hell. They are not going to die. Nobody is going to die before their time. In Jesus' name. And then he says this. Under verse 12. And return to our neighborhood. <laughs> Sorry. And return to our neighbors. Sevenfold into their bosom. Whatever. Whatever they have purposed against your life. Whatever they have planned together to bring shame to you, your marriage, your relationships, your children. The Bible says that, Lord, give them seven folds. Hallelujah. I wish you are, I hope you are hearing this. He says, and return it. He didn't even say whatever they have that. He says, return it. Give it back to them. I have refused. I, I, I don't want it. That doomed that they spelt for you. That doomed that they spelt for you. That doomed that your marriage will not be sustained. That doomed that you will not have a child. That doom that you, you are not going to have any financial sources. That doom that you will not be favored. He says, Lord, return it to them seven folds. What they have they have purposed in their hearts against you. What they have they have planned against your life. May the Lord return it back to them in seven folds in Jesus' mighty name. Receive that. And then he continues to say, The reproach with which they have reproached you, O Lord. Shade boko seke de blapa. You know what? Because in the beginning, he said, I am your inheritance, Lord. Do not forget that I am your portion in this, in this, on this earth. And so whatever thing that you are doing, it is you, Lord, that you are doing it against. And so he's telling us in the verse 12, that after returning all the doom, this is what he's saying. The reproach with which they have reproached you, O Lord. You see? Whatever they are doing, they are not doing against you as a person. They are doing it against the Lord. Are you getting, give me some heart if you are really understanding what I am teaching tonight. 
sometimes we fight our battles <laughs> battles that we do not need to fight we waste our time on certain things that we do not have to waste our time on and there are certain keys that I've seen them in the word of God and I have applied them in my life over and over again and I have seen results. And one of them is that I have stopped trying to fight certain things on my own understanding. Especially when I know this is the will of God and this is the path I need to take. I only need to hold my peace. Because you see, when he started to say that the nations, they have invaded you, Lord, your inheritance. He is saying back in the verse 12, that whichever thing that they are doing, it is you, O oh Lord, that they are, are reproaching. It is you, O oh Lord, that they want to tarnish your name. And you are asking, I'm glad you are asking me how. As a child of God, when you are sick, it doesn't glorify God. When you die, that is not your time yet. It doesn't glorify God. I know there are certain times that certain things happen. That God in his own sovereignty and his own wisdom allows certain things. I, I agree that. But majority of the things that happens to a child of God, it is not the will of God. Most of the time it is our own disobedience and our own sin. That allows and opens the gate for the enemy to come inside and do what they want. But also there are certain times it's just spiritual wickedness that want to torment and to bring, to, to tarnish the glory of God. But in every situation you find yourself, that is why the Bible says, judge not. He says, do good to your enemies. I, I wish I could have found this scripture. Be careful not to be offending people. And because I don't have that scripture, I'm not going to talk too much about that. When I find a scripture next time, I will just touch on that. Because there is something that happens in the spirit anytime you offend people. Especially when you do it willingly. Now we need the whole panel. Be very careful. Because when you do, there is a spiritual exchange that goes on there. And God takes something that belongs to you and give it to the other person you have offended. And that is one of the principles I got to do. I got to write one of the book I'm writing on. Offense. Some people, their, 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 their lifestyle is to just offend people. Somebody, you just came in here and this word, I want you to have it. If you are in the position of just offending people unnecessarily, be careful about, pray to God about that. That God give me the wisdom. When I don't have anything to say, please. Because the Bible says, even when a, a foolish man learns how to keep their mouth, they are considered as wise. When you don't have anything to say, keep quiet. Because a lot of things happen in the spirit. And this is the last verse, and then we are going to pray. It says that so they, so we, thy people and sheep of thy pasture, will give thee thanks forever. We will show forth thy praise to all generations. Hallelujah. It says we, so we people, the sheep of your pasture. Everything that you needed in this life, God has already provided it for you. You are the sheep for the pastures of our lord jesus christ everything the bible says that has been given to him and he chose to share his inheritance with you and the the, the psalmist is adding that oh lord so that when you have done all these things for us we will give you thanks we will give you praise for we are the sheep of the for your pastures we will show forth thy praise to all generations. We will tell our generation of the things that you have done. How you have delivered us from the snare of the fowler. 
how they came to us to devour our bones and our flesh and you lord took us from the pit of hell you are the one who delivered us from their plans their purposes you oh lord and we will give you thanks for that so we are going to pray i want you to position yourself and we're going to pray this word from the place of faith. Because you see, the Bible tells us in this New, New, New Testament, get this in your spirit today, I pray. In the Old Testament, they fought physical battles. They could just kill their enemy with their swords and their spears and all that. And they can see their enemies falling. But with you and me, we do not see these spiritual enemies that we are fighting with. That is why we, 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 are, we are always told to keep our faith alive. We need to have faith. We need to believe and not doubt. We need to believe. We need to have faith. Have faith. Tonight, I am encouraging you before we pray, have faith. Do not doubt. Do not add doubt to what we are going to pray tonight. Pray in faith. Because if the Lord gave us this to pray and stand on, like always, there are so many times I've gone on my knees to pray. And he just says, take this psalm or take this verse. And when I read it, I begin to just pray the word. And as I'm praying, you see direction will be coming. Pray like this. Say this. And so I know when he said, pray this. And as we began, you know that the situation, the season we are in, with all these things that are going on, we could see it in the verses. So he's saying that I want to do something against those who are pursuing your life. Those enemies that do not want my name to be glorified in your life. Those people that wants to withhold all the good things that I have released. Because don't forget that last month he said we are walking under our open heaven. And there are so many things I have. Personally, I have, I have, God has been, for the past few weeks, it's, it's been a whole lot of things that I have been waiting for that has been coming my way. And I bless God for that. And I know that there are some of you who have been faithful to this platform that you are also seeing tangible miracles of the Lord in your life. But those that has already been released and there has been a blockage in the spirit realm. Tonight, don't joke with this. And I will tell you that I stand as the prophet of God and I decree that this is God's word for you. Me, if you give me a prophecy, whatever prophecy you will tell me, and you proceed it with the word of the Lord, you say, this is what the word of God says. If even I don't believe it, because the word of God says, I will believe it. So if you found it in the word of the Lord, then it is your portion. So add your faith to this. And this week, I know that a lot of prayer and fasting are going on. When you come across somebody praying, and you feel that it's in line with your spirit. My dear, stand there and pray. Because there are a lot of prayers going on. Because people have can discern. There are a lot of things happening in their spirit. And I will echo what is going on. That there are a lot of things happening spiritually. Yes, they will tell you that the number eight means new beginnings. But I will tell you what God told me. He said, I am raising an army, my God from Zion. I am raising an army to myself that I'm going to use in this last day. So position yourself. And he's not going to use those people, religious people, people that think that they know it all. But those that are humble and they are obedient and those that are willing to be in the posture of humility, to both authorities, physical authority and authority of, of God and say that this is what God wants me to do and this is what I will do. Because there is going to be shifted. As I am speaking to you, I'm, I'm, giving you, I'm giving you directions. And I know that you will hear from other people too. Your pastors, your prophets, they are going to say these same things to you. Because it's in the spirit. And so anybody can pick it and let you be aware that this is what God is doing. 
there is going to be a, a financial shift in the kingdom people god is going to take um, financial things and give it to the people of light this is the time that the children of god are going to raise are going to be raised as millionaires in the kingdom billionaires people that are going to change systems and have voices in the economy in the government in the political arena this is the season don't be deceived by the things that are going on my darling position yourself in such a way that you can hear you can have an, an antenna in the spirit room and know what god is doing because he is doing something when you become sensitive and align yourself he is going to use you because he said i am raising an army because you see the enemy is changing his tactics he will not know what will hit him but we are going to pray but you see if god is going to send you he will make sure that he has delivered you yourself from every track and pit of the enemy so this is what he's going to do we are going to pray we are praying psalm 79 Verse 1 through 13, we have made a study of what God is saying. So this is what we're going to pray. When I read the chapters, we just stand in and we pray. Pray in your understanding and pray in the spirit. If you have a particular situation that is in, in line with what we are going, the topic we will raise, just mention it because you are in your home. Nobody is with you. If it's your husband or your, your, your wife who is there that you don't want to know, then fine. But if you are by yourself, mention that situation and address it in the spirit. This is what the God, the God says. There's some um, 79 verse 1. He says, Oh God, the nations have invaded your inheritance. They have defiled your holy temple. They have laid Jerusalem in ruins. They have given the dead bodies of your servants for food to the truth, to the birds of the heavens, the flesh of your godly ones to the beasts of the earth. If you have your Bible, please take your Bible so that you just read it and you pray. We are praying exact words of the Lord. This is what we are praying about. We, we have known that now we are in the inheritance of God. So you are praying, God, I am your inheritance. Every heathen, every nation, and we, we have explained that when you get time, please um, listen to the broadcast. We are, I am your inheritance. Say, Lord, I am your inheritance. My children are your inheritance. My husband is your inheritance. My wife is your inheritance. My work, it glorifies you. It is your inheritance. But you see, we are limited to the person because you, the person, you are the inheritance of God. So, Lord, me. I am your inheritance. My children are. My husband is your inheritance. And so I am praying that anything that is invading your inheritance, whether it is sickness, whether it is lack, whether it is poverty, I am standing upon your word. And I'm praying that from today, it ceases now in Jesus' mighty name. I am disallowing every activity of the invaders upon my life. And I plead the blood of Jesus all around me in Jesus' name. Let it be your prayer. Let us lift our voice in prayer. Father, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. You say that I am your inheritance. And so I pray, anything that wants to defile your inheritance, it will not stand against your child in Jesus' mighty name. Anything that wants to steal your glory, it will not come nigh my dwelling in the name of Jesus. They have defiled your holy temple. From tonight, they will. Ref I refuse that they will defile your temple no more in Jesus' mighty name. They can never defile me in Jesus' mighty name. They will not take my bodies as food for the birds of the heavens in Jesus' mighty name. I am protected. My husband is protected. My children are protected. Any life connected to mine is protected in Jesus' mighty name. Build a hedge of fire around me and my children. Build a hedge of fire around us in the mighty name of Jesus. As you build a hedge of fire around Job, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you build 
build the hedge of fire around us. And anybody at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. Lord, you said we should we, we should pray this word. Let your ministerial angels, Lord, build the hedge of fire around anybody and everybody at the sound of my voice. In the mighty name of Jesus. We are in your inheritance. Abede basoka da ba da ba, rade basoka da bla pasi ende de boko shende bede be, raba ba ba le masoka da ba da ba, ashende ba hasoka da ba da ba le masoka da ba da ba, rade bla pasi ende de boko shende de de de. In the name of Jesus, I am your inheritance, Lord. I am your inheritance in the name of Jesus. Shada ba da ba le masoka da ba da ba, le masoka da 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 le masi ende de boko shende bede be. In the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise and glory in Jesus' name. The second one that we are praying that the Bible it says in the verse 3 that they have poured out their blood like water around Jerusalem and there was no one to bury them. We have become a reproach to our neighbors as coughing and derision to those around us. We are praying that Lord from tonight, I am not a reproach. I am not a reproach. I am a blessing. From tonight, I decree over my life that I am not a reproach. My family is not a reproach. Everything that I do, it will not be a reproach to men in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be a reproach from tonight. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lord, I refuse to be a reproach. In every place that I find myself, I am not going to be a reproach to anyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Le masiyan de de boko, shanda baha soka da baha. Le masiyan de de boko, shanda da da da. If there is any form of reproach they have placed on my life, from today I remove it in Jesus' mighty name. Any form of reproach, I remove it in Jesus' mighty name. Things that has been done against my life in the spiritual realm, because of the blood of Jesus, I remove every reproach in Jesus' name. Every written ordinance against my life, against my marriage, against Against my children, uh, against my family, my the work of my hand, uh, any form of reproach, I bring it down in Jesus' mighty name. That is not the will of God concerning you. In Jesus' name, are we praying? We are praying. We are praying. Again, I'm just bringing this up. When you get the time, you pray them over your life. You pray them one on one over your life. And then we continue. It says the first five. How long, O oh Lord, would you will you be angry forever? Will your jealousy burn like fire? Pour out your wrath upon the nations which do not know you. And upon the kingdoms we do not call upon your name. We are praying. That's yet the word of the Lord. Say that's yet you, O oh Lord. Pour out your wrath over any nation, over any kingdom that does not know you. And we said that anybody who does not know God is the one who seeks your downfall. Because when you know God, you will not see the downfall of, a, of another individual. And so any person, any nation, and we explain territorial kingdoms and all that stuff, any person, any kingdoms, any nations that are seeking to oppress me because it is not your counsel. Oh Lord, Father, send your wrath over them in Jesus' name. Lift up your voice. Father, send your wrath over every nation, every kingdom that is um, suppressing my life in the name of Jesus. Pour down your wrath upon them. Pour down your wrath in the name of Jesus. Jesus, shade baka soke de brebi, shianda la boko sande ke de blapa, ye de basiande de boko sande baka da blapa. Le masianda da bako shende beke de blapa ya de basonda hasiende rada blapa soka da 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 le masonda hasiende ya de badaba le masoka da blapa ye de basiande de boko shende de 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 pour 
out your wrath, oh Lord, uh, uh, over them in the name of Jesus. Uh, those that have gathered together against your inheritance. Shade basoka da 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 da. Le masonda hasiende. Shada bla basoka da hasiende. Yade basoka da 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 da. In the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, I give you praise, Lord. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for the angels that you have released. In Jesus' mighty name. Rade basoka da ba hasiende de boko. In Jesus' mighty name, we are continuing from the verse 8. And this is what it says. Do not remember the iniquities of our forefathers against us. Let your compassion come quickly to meet us. We are praying that, Father, there are certain times we do not know. It's not because of us that we are facing some situations, but because of the iniquities of our fathers. And this is what he's saying, that if we are going to see all these things that we are praying about, we are saying that, Lord, tonight we are falling on your mercy. If there is any iniquity from my father's side, from my mother's side, any iniquity, any sin that, is, uh, the, the, I am receiving the recompense of Father, forgive me. I am falling on your mercy. Tonight, forgive me in Jesus' mighty name. Let that be your prayer. And he says that, oh Lord, as you are forgiving, let your compassion come quickly. Ah, And that is in the, in the verse 8. In the verse 8, if you have your Bible, that's verse 8. Let us pray in the name of Jesus. Shede baha soka da ba da ba. Rada bla pa soka da ba da ba. Le mo siyam de de bo ko shan de baha. Le ma siyam de 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 de. Father forgive us our sins O Lord. The sins of our forefathers Lord. The sins of my mother. The sins of my father. Ah shede de de de. Forgive us in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord visit us not O Lord with this iniquity O Lord. Ah forgive us in the name of Jesus. Because of your mercy. I fall on your mercy tonight. I stand in the gap and I, I pray. That Lord you forgive Give us, O oh Lord, because of your word, because of Jesus, because of what Jesus has done. Forgive us and cleanse us. For he who accepts you has become a new creation, a new creature, a new creation, a born again child. You have birthed us a new one. And so, Lord, this is our new nature. From tonight, let their compassion be what we see every day, wherever we walk, wherever we go, whatever we touch. From today, we declare. Sorry, we decree and we declare your compassion all around us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I continue from the verse 9. It says, help us, O God of our salvation, for the glory of your name and deliver, deliver us and forgive our sins for your name's sake. So we are saying that, Lord, we are praying, Heavenly Father, because of your name's sake, glorify yourself let that be your prayer in the name of jesus because of the name of you oh lord because i bear your name father glorify yourself lord glorify yourself in my life in the name of jesus glorify yourself over everything that concerns me in the name of jesus glorify yourself in the life of these ones in jesus name anyone under the sound of my voice lord glorify yourself over them in jesus name Baha, la masenda hasiende de de, yede bosianda da da da, raba da ba da ba. Release your glory over these ones in the mighty name of Jesus. Release your glory over them in the name of Jesus. Release your glory over them in the name of Jesus. They bear your name. Ashede bo hosiande shende baha, rade bala pasoka da ba da ba. Release your glory over them in Jesus' name. Your anointing to do exploit in Jesus' name. Ashede bo hosiande da da By the reason of your word. By the reason of the anointing, release it, release it, release it in Jesus' mighty name. Rade boseke de blapa, le masonda hasiende, rada blapa soka da baha, ayede bosande hasiende, shade blapa soka da 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 da. Because of your name, say, oh Lord, glorify yourself in their life, glorify yourself at their workplace, glorify the work yourself. At the work of their hands, glorify yourself in their homes, glorify yourself in the life of their children, glorify yourself in the name of Jesus. Shede boho siende, le masoka da ba ba. Why should the nations doubt and ask where is their God? From today, let signs and wonders follow them wherever they go, in whatever they do, whatever their hands finds to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, shere bo siende, rade bla pasoka da ba hasiende, ba ba ba. 
ba le masande de boko shende be de be raba da ba da ba le masoka da ba pasiende de boko shande de 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 raba da ba da ba le masoka da 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 ina sande ke de blo pasiende de boko shande be de be raba da ba da ba le masoka da ba pa 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 ye de pasiende de 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 in the name of Jesus the verse ten I want us to pray Father visit your vengeance on my enemies and I want you to be Pray this powerfully. Decree this. That in the name of Jesus. Father, according to your, your word in Psalm 97. In Psalm 79. The verse. 10. Visit your vengeance over my enemies. Quote the verse. Psalm 79. Verse 10. That say yes your word. Visit your vengeance over my enemies. If only that is the words that you are going to say. I want you to keep on saying that word. And speak it with faith. Lord, visit your vengeance over my enemies. According to your word. In Psalm 79 verse 10. Visit your vengeance over my enemies. Those that do not want my peace. Visit your vengeance over them. I want to see your vengeance over them. Not when I am dead. Right now. Let your vengeance come over them in the name of Jesus. There will not be peace for any wicked any wicked person uh, let there be no peace for them in the mighty name of jesus uh, visit your vengeance over them uh, in the mighty name of jesus shade bo ho sianda ra de bla pa soka da ba le ma sianda de bo ko shande ba le ma sianda da da le ma soka da ba aye de bo sianda de bo ko shande be he aye de ba da ba le ma soka da bla pa your word says we should not suffer for a witch to live a shande ba ha soka da bla pa anybody who does not want my peace uh, i refuse to suffer for them to live in live in peace in the name of jesus tonight let signs and waters follow our prayers in the name of jesus do what you have purpose to do do what you have purpose to do do what you have purpose to do in the name of jesus according to your word in psalm 79 verse 10 visit your vengeance over my enemy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth thank you that it is done amen and he says in the verse 11, let the groaning of the prisoner come before you. According to the greatness of your power, preserve those who are doomed to die. And this, this verse, if you have your Bible, I want you to circle it and continue to pray this over your family and every life that is connected to you. And this is what he says. He says, let the groanings Sometimes you find yourself in situations you can't even open your mouth to pray. So every situation that brings you in that pain, that's it, that, 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 that kind of box. He says, let that thing be before you, O Lord. Tonight, every situation that you are finding yourself in, you know what you are going through. I have my own challenges and I know you always have, you also have yours. So say to God, every situation, every challenge that I am going through now, Lord, I bring it. I present it before you tonight. And he's saying that according to your greatness, not because of me, not because of anything, but because you have shown me in your word, because your word says, according to the greatness of your power, according to your sovereignty, Preserve those who are doomed to die. You are praying. First, in, it's in two folds. First, you are praying the Lord, let my supplications come before you. Let my prayer come before you. Let the things that sometimes I cannot even express, let it come before you. Hear the prayer of my heart. And then secondly, it says that preserve, because of your greatness, preserve those who are doomed to die. Maybe you do not know, but there is somebody connected to your life that they have already plotted that they are going to cut their life short. So let this prayer be for you a very dangerous and important prayer. Because for all you know, probably it will be because of you that we are praying this. 
any person who is doomed to die when you have prayed that god let this growing be before you you are saying to god any person who is doomed to die that is connected to my life i cancel that in jesus name because of your word begin to pray in the name of jesus i pray in the name of jesus oh lord i lift up my hands to you heavenly father let my growings let my pain let every challenge oh lord be before you tonight in the name of jesus let it be a fragrance to you lord let every pain every everything let it be before you tonight in the name of jesus let nothing be a hindrance to my prayer tonight in the name of jesus i pray in the name of jesus receive my prayer oh lord receive my prayer in the name of jesus receive my prayer in the name of jesus and i pray in jesus mighty name any person connected to my life uh, any person at the sound of my voice uh, any person watching me uh, that is doomed to die we cancel every spirit of death uh, every spirit of premature death in the mighty name of jesus uh, we arrest you in jesus mighty name based on the word of the lord the written word of god uh, and the rumor that has come that we should pray this we stand upon this word uh, any person that is doomed to die oh lord because of the greatness of your power snatch that life in jesus Jesus' name. Nobody is going to die. Nobody is going to die. Anybody who is having thoughts of death, I arrest it in Jesus' mighty name. You will not die. You will not die. You will live to proclaim the, the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus, you are a living testimony. Any person that is doomed to die, oh Lord, they will not die. We decree and we declare that they will not die in the name of Jesus. That that is not their portion. We call, we speak life into them. We speak life into them. We infuse life into their bodies. We infuse life into their into their heart. We refuse. We infuse life into their minds. In the name of Jesus, you spirit of death and grave, the Lord has already already defeated you. He has already defeated you and he has given us life, eternal life. And that is what we speak to every life all over us. We speak that eternal life over our children. We speak that eternal life over our spouses. We speak that eternal life over everything that is connected to our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we give you praise. We give you all the honor. And I hope you are praying wherever you are. I hope you are praying. I hope you are praying i hope you are praying in jesus mighty name we continue to pray and then he says and return and return wherever you are i want you to say return type if you can just type return 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 lord return it return it to our neighbor sevenfold into their bosom in the verse 12, he says that whatever thing that they have done against you, whatever thing that they have purported against you, may the Lord return it sevenfold. I did not say it. It's in your Bible. I am men, Jennifer. They will return. We are returning everything back to the sender in Jesus' name. He's saying that everything that the, the neighbors they have done, return it into their bosom, their bosom. They plan it for me. Return it. Return it. We are returning everything in Jesus' name, sis. We say that return it seven folds. Seven folds. Return it seven folds. Amen. Return it seven folds to the abosom. Hey, where it hurts. You see here. Where your heart is. They taught. Hashi, Pastor Harrison, return it, return it, Nanajwa. We are returning everything. This one, if you are in your house, that you can you can you can clap your hands and pray. I command fire into your hands, even as you are praying. May it be sent back to the sender in the name of Jesus. Sevenfold into their bosom. You said, Father, we return it in sevenfold into their bosom. In the mighty name of Jesus, as I lift my hands to pray, Lord, return it to the sender in the name of Jesus. Return it to their bosom in the name of Jesus. Sevenfold, oh Lord, return it in Jesus' mighty name. There is no peace for the wicked. No peace for the wicked. No peace 
for the wicked. In the name of Jesus. Shade basoka da baha. Ayede bosiande de boko shande baha. We return it back to the sender. We return the up reproaches. Back to them in Jesus' mighty name. We return it in Jesus' name. We return it in Jesus' name. Ashende baha soka da baha. Ayede bosiande de boko shande. Rabe de badaba. Le masonda hasiende. Rabe de bosiande de boko shanda baha soka da baha. Rabe de bosiande de boko shanda baha soka da the reproach of which they have reproached us. The same measure, seven folds times seven. We send it back to them in Jesus' mighty name. Ashede bosianda. Raba raba raba. Le masoka da baha. Ayede bosiande de boko shande baha. Le masianda da 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 da. Le masoka da baha. In the name of Jesus. Ayede bosianda da boko shande baha. Sonda hasiende. Ayede bada ba. Le masoka da bada ba. Allah masoka da bada ba. Le mosiande de boko shende behe. Yade basande hasianda, ade bada ba le masoka da bada ba. The same measure, O oh Lord, they reproach that so father seven fold in the name of Jesus. Shade ba hasiende, rade bada ba le masoka da baha. We return to your bosom, we return it to your bosom in the name of Jesus. Ashende ba hasoka da baha, ayede bosiande de boko shande baha. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Shade bosiande da boko shanda baha. In the name of Jesus. We give you praise and honor. Before we do the last one with thanksgiving, this is the prayer I want you to pray. As we have returned the reproach of our enemies back to them, I want you to pray that, Lord, everything that the enemy has stolen from me, anything and everything, whether it is my health, whether it is my peace, whether it is my marriage, peace in my marriage, love in my marriage, my finances, my work, everything that the enemy has touched, everything that they have stolen, everything they have taken, tonight, I recover everything. I recover everything. If there is something physically that you can, you can use, just make sure that you are taking it. Make an action in the spirit. Physically, you are making an action about place a demand in the spirit. See, I, I mention it. You are in your home. This is not a church. You will tell me that somebody will hear your prayer. You are in your home. Mention that thing and say, Father, I recover everything. The other time when the people came, when David had gone to war, and they came to capture their, their, their wives and those that were left, their children and all that, and they took them. And the things that they had, they had. When David inquired of the Lord, the Lord said to them, Pursue, overtake, and recover everything that they have stolen. So now that we have sent back their reproach to them, we are recovering every single thing that the enemy had taken from us. Mention them if you know them. But if you do not know, just pray in the spirit and say, Lord, according to your word, I over I recover everything that the enemy has stolen from me in this season. I take it back. I take my joy. I take my peace. I take the peace of my children. I recover my work. Recover it in Jesus. I begin to pray and recover it in Jesus' name. Take that joy. Take that peace. Take that health. In the name of Jesus, I walk under my open heavens. I shed the a double portion in Jesus' name, Mame. I shed the boko shende baha. I yede bosi yanda la boko shende de 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 de. Your word says when any, an enemy is caught, uh, he pays seven, double, double, seven, seven hundred folds of what he has stolen. Tonight we recovered everything. Uh, Lord, restore unto us uh, what the locusts, the canker worms, everything that they have eaten. Uh, we take it back in the name of Jesus. Uh, we take it back in the name of Jesus. Uh, we take it back whatever thing that is due us in this season. Uh, we, all, we take it in Jesus' name. Uh, we take it in Jesus' name. Uh, we take it in Jesus' name. Uh, no more, no more, no more. Maha shade boho, rade basoka da baha, le masiande de boko shande baha, le masiande de boko shande de de de, raba da da ba, le masiande de boko shanda baha shande hesianda, raba da da ba, le basonda hasiende, yede basianda da 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 da, wherever they hid it, we recover it. Go and take it, bring it back in Jesus' mighty name. A shanda baha soka da baha, yede bosiende de boko shande baha. We recover everything in the name. 
name of Jesus, uh, we take possession of everything that belongs to us. Uh, we seal it with the blood of Jesus. Every delay thing, uh, we call the spirit of speed upon it. Uh, anything that has been delayed in your life, uh, I speak the sp I release the spirit of speed over that thing in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, let there be a testimony for it. Uh, receive your testimony in Jesus' name. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, every document you are you are expecting, uh, may it be released in the name of Jesus. Ah, uh, I send the angels of God to be at work for you right now. Uh, to go on work, oh Lord. Uh, according to your word that we have said. Um, According to your word, O oh Lord, according to your word, O oh Lord, according to Psalm 79, let there be a performance tonight in the name of Jesus. Any delay thing, let there be a release in Jesus' name. According to your word, according to your promises, let there be a performance in the name of Jesus. Let signs and wonders follow these. Those are the sound of my voice. Those that are believing you and not doubting. Ah, let there be peace, sanity in the mind, sanity in the thoughts. Oh, fresh ideas, uh, fresh ideas, uh, fresh ideas, uh, fresh ideas in the name of Jesus. Uh, anointing to do exploit, uh, anointing to do exploit. Uh, things that they said you couldn't do, uh, that business that they said that you cannot do is not possible. I pray for a release of fresh anointing. Uh, all you on your head, uh, all you on your head, uh, all you on your head in the name of Jesus. Uh, receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, anything that you couldn't do, uh, anything, every pain that you feel in your body, release. We receive your healing right now in Jesus' mighty name. Shere boho siyande de boko shande baha sonda ha siyende. Aye de bo siyanda da 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 le ma soka da baha. Le ma siyande de boko shande baha. Begin to bless the name of the Lord and thank him. Thank him for an answered prayer. Thank him for an answered prayer. Say, Father, I thank you that it is done in Jesus' name. I thank you that you have, you have, you have heard me. Thank you, Lord, for an answered prayer. Thank you 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 for an answered prayer. In the name of Jesus, I give you praise and honor. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Spirit of the Living God. Thank you, Jesus. Every pain, abdominal pain. Every abdominal pain, that is not normal. Every pain that is not normal, whoever is feeling that pain, abdominal pain, that is not normal. I pray that the mighty hand of the Lord will touch you wherever you are. In Jesus' name, that pain ceases now. Every abnormal flow of menses, I pray for correction in Jesus' name. Every, every fibroid is nullified by the blood of Jesus. We nullify it in Jesus' mighty name. You are going to receive you will still use you begin to have a normal flow in your menses from tonight in Jesus' name. And when it is you do testify testify to the glory of the lord so we thank you lord we thank you that you angels of god you are in the homes of people there is somebody you are sitting one of your leg is in the sofa you've stretched one of the leg in the sofa and one is 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 sit it's like it's sitting and one is in the sofa and you are sitting in the sofa like this there is an angel in your house <laughs> whoever you are sitting one of your legs is in the sofa and one is just sitting there an angel of god is in your house thank you holy spirit some of you how you have been praying for <laughs> visitations i release that and i receive it in jesus mighty name there, there be there will be visitations for some of you and you will know the God is here. Shade so begin to bless the name. Just bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Lift up your voice and begin to bless him. And thank him for tonight. The Lord, you have you have heard my prayer. 
Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord in the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. Father, we thank you for our open heavens. We thank you for our open heavens. We thank you for heaven. Open heavens over our lives. Open heavens. Open heavens. Open heavens. Open heavens. Open heavens. In the name of Jesus. We thank you. La bosin de hesiam da 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 da. Ra da bla pa soka da ba hasi en de reboko shen de ba hasoka da bla pa. Sha da bla pa. Somebody here. I can only see some few men. But there is somebody, a man. Yeah somebody a man you are watching me your wife is going to begin to flow in the prophetic serious prophetic utterances so be watchful if you are a man of god you have even noticed that in your wife in your spouse this is the hand of the lord moving in here in here she's going to flow so 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 heavily in the prophetic if you have begun seeing that that is the hand of god so you just need to keep on praying for her and uh, let God do what he wants to do. But if you also are here and you are desiring the prophetic too, as that lady is having that um, gift being released on her, that anointing, tap into that anointing too. Because when a, a thing is being released, a mantle is being released. A gift is being released. You can also tap in. You can also desire it. Desire it. That's why Paul told us that we should desire all the gifts, especially the prophet, gift of prophecy. So if you desire it, you can also ask and thank God for that gift. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Healing, healing, healing. Healing in the name of Jesus. Healing, Lord. Thank you, healing. Thank you, healing. Thank you, Lord, for healing. Shade baha soka da 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 da. Ye de bo si ande de bo kushan de 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 de. Shade bla pa soka da ha. Thank you, Lord. We give you praise and honor. Bless the name of the Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Spirit of the Living God. We thank you. And this is the time that I'm going to invite you. That if you have not given your life to Christ, this is the season that you don't have to joke with your salvation. Then I'm inviting you that as we are all going to pray and ask the Lord to take absolute control, why don't you pray this prayer of salvation with me? Because there is no name in which somebody can be saved other than the name of Jesus. And he is the only one that can make your life beautiful. He is the only way, the only truth and the only life. He is the only one who can give you beauty for ashes. He is the one who, when you give your mess to, he can give you a message out of your mess. He is the one that can use every situation, every, every negative, every horrible situation that you give to him. He is well able to make it beautiful. What a mighty God we serve. I'm not saying that it's going to be smooth sailing, that everything that you need, it will just come. But I am here to tell you that he is the only one to the only friend that will never leave you in the midst of the storm. He is the one who will be there. He is the one who will hold your hand when you feel like you are going to sink. He is the one that will carry you. That is Jesus. He is the only way to the Father. And if you have not opened your mouth to say, Lord, I accept you. Why don't you pray this prayer with me? And if even you know him, why don't we all confess and ask him to take absolute control? Let us consecrate ourselves to him. The Lord Jesus, I thank you that you died on the cross for me. Tonight I've heard of you. Come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Lead me in the path that pleases you. Write my name in the book of life. And from today, every decision that I make, every step that I take, may you be the one who orders my life for your glory. I thank you that you are my life now. In Jesus' name, amen. You see? Your life will never be the same. 
Now when I see you, I only see the glory of the Lord. I only see Jesus. I don't see you. I see Jesus. So from today, when you see yourself, when you look in yourself in the mirror, see Jesus. When you see Jesus in your own eyes, your life will begin to transform to the glory of the Father. God loves you so much. And that is why he says that, fear not, for I have redeemed you. Is there anybody here called Ebenezer? Ebenezer. But if anybody is going to watch this broadcast in the future and your name is Ebenezer or you have a spouse, your spouse is called Ebenezer. If you are a wife here that you have your husband or your brother called Ebenezer, tell him that the Lord says, I am in need of you. I am in need of you. If he gives his life to the Lord, the Lord says, I am going to use you mightily. In this end time. That is the word of the Lord. And so I thank you for tonight. God bless you. There is one of my sister here. I, 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 I cannot. I, I don't know your name. I'm going to look for it and see. But uh, those that I've started with you. That you stayed with me. God bless you so much. I think this is the first time that I've seen you here. But I appreciate you sticking with me from all these well. God bless you. This is some a message that you need to listen. Nasika, God bless you. Coleman, God bless you. And then there is another one. God bless you for being with me. I hope this will not be your last time. This is a message that, especially those who did not listen in the beginning, how I took this and explained it. Please listen and pray these scriptures over your life. Because I had planned to teach on power and authority. But I am in a fast and when I was praying, the Holy Spirit said, take your Bible and read it. This, this is what I want you to pray tonight. And, and, and I said, yes, sir. So this is what we've prayed. And I said earlier that anytime God says he releases his word, he's just saying that I am about to do something. And I want you to agree with me so that I can do, allow me to do what I want to do. And this is the time that God wants to avenge you. Jenny. I want you to hear this and receive this in your spirit, Jeannie Siang. One of my sisters here, um, when I finish, I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask that you all join me in prayer for her. I want you to have this in your spirit, that this is the season that God is going to avenge his children. Yes. He is going to avenge you. And when somebody, God and it's not something when God is avenging you, you don't do anything. Yours is to align your will under his will and say, Father, whatever you want to do, just do it. And that is when people that you don't even know, they will come and say, sister, sorry. And when they start doing that, don't even ask them why you are saying sorry. Say, okay, I hear you. Because you did your battles in the spirit and they are being manifested in the physical. So be alert. And be focused in prayer because God is doing something. And before I close this tonight, wherever you are, I want us to join hearts. And for a few minutes, I want you to lift one of my sisters into the mighty hand of God. She's in the hospital. And even when we were having our program, she was still there and she was listening. She said, would I have my testimony and I will testify. And even that, let me share this with you. In one of the days, I don't know exactly what, but one of my friends, I was speaking to him here yesterday, and she said, I introduced one of my friends, white lady, to your program to for her to be listening and watching you. And she ran to my home with just a short clip of what you said. She said, I came on the on the broadcast like five minutes, and she mentioned my name and said certain things. God is hearing me or listening to me or whatever. And the lady was amazed and she's been listening to the messages. I'm telling you that God is doing something and we do not just come here 
I'm a wife, I'm a mother. Sometimes it's not it's it's coming here is a is a very challenging thing. And the time and all that stuff. It's a sacrifice on my part. But I want you to know that if it is changing a life, it is transforming a life, then it is worth it. So I just want you to add your faith to my faith. And we are going to release our sister out of that place. Because that is not her place. That is the word of the Lord that we are going to stand on. That we want her to come and testify. That when you prayed with the saints for me, I have been released from the hospital and I am not going back again. She said, Rhoda, my faith is that I am well and I am healed. And I am standing in that faith. And we are going to add our faith to hers and we are going to pray. That the Lord that answereth by fire, he should take her out of that place. That is not her place. So wherever you are, if it were you, we would pray the same prayer for you. So I beseech you from your heart, say and pray that Father, we release our sister from the hospital. Right now in Jesus' mighty, let we discharge her. There is nothing wrong with it. She is fine. But because now we know that there are authorities that fight against the purpose of God for our lives. We have dismantled them. And so we release our sister to go home in Jesus name we have discharged them in Jesus name wherever you are just lift up your voice and begin to pray in Jesus name Heavenly Father we thank you for our sister's life oh Lord we release them from that hospital we have discharged her in Jesus' name and we see this being manifested based on the word that you have given to us oh Lord because of the greatness of your power we release her in Jesus' mighty name nothing is going to hold her down nothing is going to hold her there in Jesus' mighty name let there be signs and testimony signs and wonders uh, following her in Jesus' name uh, we join our faith together Lord uh, and we pray that let there be a sign let there be a sign that you have heard us let there be a sign that you have heard us tonight in Jesus' mighty name. She is not coming back to that place again. Let this day be the last time that she will get there in Jesus' mighty name. We release you in Jesus' name. He who the Son says free is free indeed. Completely liberated from the curse of the law. You are not under the law. You are under the grace and the mercy of God. The blood of Jesus protects you. You bear the name of God. You are his inheritance. No demon in hell will pull you down and let you stay where your soul does not want to stay. You are liberated like a bird from the foulest snare in Jesus' mighty name. Lord, we give you thanks and praise. We thank you that it is done in Jesus' name. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I bless God for your life. I thank you. Thank you for being here with me. Keep on sharing this. Keep on liking share our messages our devotionals to people your friends share them send them to them you might never know what word somebody might need and know that you are the blessed of the lord very soon we are coming up with our program called the king's daughters or the king's son and it's going to be a blessing to you uh if you want me if you want to sponsor if you have anything you want to sponsor please bring your sponsorship and i'll add it to it and as God is opening doors and opportunities all around me, I also pray the same favor over your life. That whoever I share in this inherit this portion with, may you also receive the same measure of grace that has been released upon my life. And please, I'm not talking too much. I'm, I'm ending this after this announcement. Please. Anytime God is doing something or when there is a ministry that is birth, there are so many ministries. I call this, I was finding it difficult to call it a ministry, but it is a ministry because you are doing something, you are ministering for with to people. So it's a ministry. Not that I, it's a church or I'm going to form a church. No, God has not called me to do that. But whatever thing that God placed in your hands, there is an angel in charge of that. And I'm going to ask you this. I'm going to inform you. There is an angel who watches over real of hope. Anytime you come here, 
or anytime you feel you have a challenge some of the ways that when you are praying you can engage that angel your ministry the church that you go has its own angel and if i want me to back it excuse me if you want me to back it with scripture you go to revelations it says the church of philadelphia the church of this ephesus it means that every church has its angel they are in in ranks so is are uh, these things these ministries that are the will of god they have angels that have been assigned to them and so when you are committed to a ministry kuku jenny and harry mr harrison all those people that have been mommy for sure you are committed you listen to me you participate in the set in certain things that i say or i do when you find yourself in a difficult place please engage yourself and ask that angel to be of help to you it's a direction not only with this even your church you are constant you pay your tithe you pay your offerings please engage them it's not always your pastor your yes he's your covering but engage these 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 angels and let them go to work for you so god bless you and if you want to show you have my if you want to show so in what god is doing it's an altar that is why throughout the bible when you go to the especially the old testament in the in the in the new testament it's a different thing altogether but especially in the old Testament, when any time they receive a word of the lord and believe in that word they offer they do they have an offering they build an altar and they sacrifice it becomes a covenant that god what you have released i have also done my part i have accepted it and i have agreed that is why we sow seeds and when god releases me i will i will teach you about these things that is why we sow seeds we give offerings these are all ways in aligning and agreeing with god coming into covenant with god that what you have done i agree i i am expecting you to operate or work on my behalf so if you want to sow into what you have received tonight the program that we had my paypal my account is there if you want to sow fine however you want to go but this is what i do and you will see me here every day because my payment cometh from the lord above according to your belief it will work for you so god bless you from my heart from the bottom of my heart god bless you for being a blessing for being here spending your time to listen to what god has for you may god bless you may jehovah sabuath the lord of heaven's armies fight your battles for you you need not to fight stand still and see the salvation of the lord i thank you and god bless you have a lovely in evening and don't forget to order your copy of my book into the deep so i say shalom and have a lovely evening amen me free my come me kase wu yora ay wu na wato mi abodi na ti ama kanyi na mami wu kuto na wu se aye yi mi ti mi hu yi na ma wo Put on 
your dancing shoes. God is going to do what exactly what he says he will do. Don't give up on God, because he won't give up on you. He's able. God is able to do just what he said he will do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God, for he won't give up on you. He's able. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you are able. He's able. He's able. He's able.